Pete, thank you. Anash uh, Mika. Yeah, thank you for the honor of joining you today. I am really humbled to be here and to reflect what this memorial represents, a crucible of sacrifice and service that forged modern Korea and that created everlasting bonds between Americans and Koreans and those of many other nations. As uh, Congressman McCloskey mentioned, uh, I was about 22, 23 years old when I first embarked actually from this beautiful city uh, to go to Korea. But it was a different time. Uh, Pete and Colonel Stevens, many of you went, of course, in 1950, 1951, 1952 to a Korea in the throes of a fierce and merciless war. I've read a lot about those years, uh, including uh, Congressman McCloskey's book, The Taking of Hill 610. I've ridden bicycles with Korean University students 60 years after the defense of the Pusan perimeter, up and down some of those hills that Colonel Stevens and his men so bravely defended. And I have to say, it was hard enough just riding a bike. I cannot imagine what it was like to do what you did. But we salute that incredible sacrifice that incredible bravery. I'm not so young. I was actually born in 1953, the year of the armistice. So I'm an armistice baby. When finally a ceasefire was established on the depleted, ravaged, and yes, still divided Korean Peninsula. And so in 1975, when I arrived as a 22-year-old Peace Corps volunteer, the war was over in many ways, but memories were still very fresh. And life was still pretty tough. But Koreans, Koreans were filled with determination that life was going to get better for their, the next generation. And I and my fellow Peace Corps volunteers, my young American friends there at that time, we were the undeserving recipients of countless expressions of gratitude by Koreans who appreciated America's and the United Nations defense of the fledgling Republic of Korea. And they used a phrase in Korean, I learned a little bit of Korean, that I've never forgotten. They said that the United States and Korea share telmengwangye, a relationship forged in blood, telmengwangye. And that was the relationship forged by the, the people we honor today, the people we honor with this memorial. But in those years, I saw how far passion for education, boundless capacity for work, and a never give up spirit can could take individual Koreans and their nation. And in the ensuing years, it actually took 33 years, right up to my return to Korea as the American ambassador, I saw the Republic of Korea go from strength to strength, matching its economic rise, which I think we know pretty well, with a healthy democracy. Healthy democracy means everybody complains about their democracy too. Uh, and, and also becoming the regional and global role model and leader it is today. President Truman called his decision to act in Korea in June 1950 the most important decision of his presidency. Think about that. He made a lot of important decisions in those years, but this was the most important, he said. I think President Truman, I know President Truman today, if he were with us, would take great satisfaction in Korea's extraordinary modern rise and in the alliance between the United States and the Republic of Korea, deeper and stronger than ever before. But, and this is my final thought, there is unfinished business on the Korean Peninsula, the business of reconciliation, of building a lasting peace, of denuclearization, of genuine security and opportunity for all the people of the peninsula, including the long-suffering Koreans of the North. We must address this unfinished business and reflect on it at this memorial. Only then are we fully honoring President Truman's most important decision in 1950 to act in Korea. And only then are we fully honoring all those who sacrificed, all those who died, all who suffered so grievously in that terrible and never ever to be forgotten war. So, I am honored to join you who defended Korea, our common values, uh, who gave this great opportunity together to a, a, a new future in Korea, 
Today, let us resolve, as we dedicate this beautiful memorial, to rededicate ourselves to the pursuit of peace and reconciliation, and let us work to hasten the day when a reunified Korea will be whole, free, and at peace. Thank you.